Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you can see from the title is another crochet hair review video and today's crochet hair as you also saw from the title is the Dalva Ultimate Collagen Protein Hair pre-loop type in the style deep twist i have it in the 18 inch version and it is in the color 1b now if you're not familiar with my crochet hair series welcome join the family smash that subscribe button but my video isn't a how to diy install video although i do have an install for this hair i'll link that up above oh no 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 this is a review video where i come on here and tell you all the information all the specs all you need to know with the hair i come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair showing you how it looks literally the day I installed it or the day after I installed it showing you how it looks uncut in its raw format and its full length telling you what my install was like my braid pattern was like was it an hard install wasn't an easy install overall what my first day thoughts of that hair is then I come in one week later with my one week thoughts of the crochet hair showing you how it looks one week in telling you whether it went uphill or downhill only in a matter of a week and telling you overall what my maintenance has been like with that hair over the course of that week then I come on here with my final thoughts of a crochet hair whether it's been three weeks four weeks five weeks six weeks seven weeks with the hair I show you how it looks literally on the day I'm taking that hair out telling you overall has it been a terrible few weeks or has it been a very good few weeks has it been low maintenance has it been high maintenance is it active friendly is it water friendly and overall whether I recommend you run out and go buy that hair now if you want to skip around to certain points I don't know why but if you want to skip around say to my first week thoughts to my final thoughts I have timestamps down below in the description box for that but if you're somebody who wants to watch the hair as it moves through the weeks the days and all of that just keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this Ultima collagen protein hair a few moments later so now coming on here for my first day thoughts on this Dalva Ultima collagen protein hair now for people who don't like my story skip ahead I'd say about three minutes but I wanted to tell you a little bit about the history of me and this hair if you guys know I made a video probably about a year and a half ago I would say about why I wasn't trying this hair because of ebony line and mainly the place it was sold if you guys haven't caught that video I'll link it up above but basically I don't mess with ebony line I'm not a big fan of ebony line the customer service in the past has been trashed the way they kind of responded to me and their lackluster approach to reaching out to me but then at the same time distancing themselves from me was really strange not to mention epic shades video on the fact that they used the term nappy headed hoe on their site to describe you know a wig that they had i'll link that video up above too just so you can catch that but um they had this hair on their site and they seem to be the only ones who carry that and i said in that video until you know another company carries this hair i will not try this hair but i got a lot of responses in that video that said amazon has it girl amazon has it please try it it's on amazon you can get it a different way just try it i kind of disregarded it you know i just i just said okay it's on amazon we'll maybe get to it later if it's truly on amazon uh fast forward to a year and a half later when i tried a human hair crochet that hair was very expensive over 300 dollars for that human hair crochet but it caused a surge of people who went back to the doll hair because if you can see from the packaging it reads style just like human hair it bows the claim that it is very 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 similar to human hair so a lot of people got back on this bandwagon because again this is kind of more affordable than a $300 price tag so people wanted me to try it again and you know what I said you know they said that Amazon has it let me go and see so I bit the bullet again and I bought from Amazon um what you guys should be aware of is uh, I got my package from Amazon. Of course, it's shipped in a regular package. And let me just kind of show you what it says on the box um, right here. Hopefully, the camera is focusing in. What does it say? It says Ebony Line Amazon. And even my order invoice says ebonyline.com but again I purchased it from from Amazon right Ebony Line got me uh they really got me they really gooped your girl they really tricked your girl Ebony Line as I assumed in my original video is the only carrier of this hair Dalva has somehow gotten a exclusive contract with Ebony Line which why would they choose such a trash company to associate themselves with but I really thought that Ebony Line was the only people who you know held it and everything you guys said Amazon has it yes Ebony has it but they are shipping through ebony line i think ebony line probably got smart and they were 
were like, well, people don't trust our site, but they trust Amazon. Why not sell it on Amazon and still reap the rewards? So Ebony I got my coin at the end of the day, but I just wanted to put it out there. This hair is an exclusive Ebony line here. I don't care if you buy it on another site. I don't care if you Google it and you see it's on like Hair Bird or something. Ebony line probably gave it to Hair Bird so that they could still make a profit off of it. So at the end of the day, Ebony line has the exclusive Dalva Ultimate Collagen Protein Hair Contract. But I still was going to review it even though I was very upset. I woke up in the morning, went to my front door, was leaving for work, checked the front door because it was supposed to come on a Thursday night. For some reason it didn't come. It is kind of during the holiday season. It's Christmas next week. So of course the shipping on things is a little bit behind. So I woke up Friday 7 a.m. go out to my door and see it on the front porch and I just looked at the box and was so disappointed uh, and what I saw. But I digress let's jump into the review for this hair. I will not let my thoughts of Ebony Line kind of hinder what I say and how I feel in this video. So as I mentioned I bought this hair from Amazon. I bought six packs of this hair. I ended up using really four. I do have this fifth pack which I did pull some strands from but really you would only need four and if you watch my install video where I heavily referenced Beauty Can Braid she only used three. Now this hair is $14.99 a pack and it cost me about $5.99 for shipping so overall it's about $84.99 which for six packs if this hair is going to perform like human hair. Again the package says so styles like human hair and of course I will test this throughout the wear of this hair it says it styles like human hair $84.99 isn't that bad and if you only buy what four packs were needed five packs at max you're not spending more than what $60 on this overall so I don't think you're going to need to spend you know more than $60 to get this style which is awesome I say if this hair really is going to perform well so the 18 inch is a style that is $14.99 if you're somebody who's going to want a lot shorter and again this is what 18 inches looks like it's very long they do have have a 14 inch version and that I believe is $12.99 so again this is the 18 inch version and I'm going to do a turnaround so you guys can kind of see if you saw for my install video it's the same day as my install video I just got done installing this hair so this hair has not been cut you're seeing it in its full 18 inch length without any kind of modifications to it so this is what the hair looks like of course this is kind of the styling of the hair you saw my install video. I know you did. You didn't watch this review without seeing my install video. So I'm not going to really speak heavily on the install of this hair just because I have a video. But it's a standard straight back braid pattern. Nothing fancy. And again, you're never going to get anything fancy from this channel. Again, this hair is pre-looped all throughout. So again, this is what the hair looks like. I only cut kind of the frizzes. And again, I show you that in my install video where I kind of cut, you know, the little strands like this that are annoying as you see you install a hair. Only cut that so nothing has really been done. This is the full hair in its full length. I had a short hair and you guys watched my last review video on that fantasy pop hair. That was short for me. I feel good to be back in the land of length. I do like length. But for some people, that 14 inches is going to be a better option for you out there. But no products has been put in this hair. I just did a install of this hair so nothing has been done now on the back of this packaging they kind of gave you a care guide if you can see um, which some hairs do some hairs don't but it's very good that they do give you a care guide so what it says to do every day with this hair is a mist with water as needed which I never heard of a brand saying mist with water but it is interesting I don't know if it's because it's that collagen protein that water is a good additive to it but it says mist with water as needed gently brush from the ends which you should do a lot of times with your crochet hair that is brushable again not a lot of crochet hair is brushable like that soft dread hair you're not brushing that that fantasy pop hair I had in last you're not brushing that but with a wavier hair you can brush which you should always brush from the ends and then it says pat dry with towel so again I'll probably use a microfiber towel if I do follow these instructions it says for weekly maintenance gently brush from the ends wash with a small amount of shampoo rinse off shampoo and conditioner thoroughly from the root and for best hair condition pat dry with towel and air dry so it's telling you to wash weekly I might not wash it weekly but I probably definitely will wash it um, in the course of me wearing this hair again it's not a human hair 
it is synthetic but it is infused with that collagen which is supposed to give it the properties to perform like a human hair so i am very intrigued to see how it is going to hold up i'm very intrigued to see what it is like washing and styling this hair and putting heat to this hair i want to see if it has that bounce back that it talks about so if you guys want to see keep watching to see my first week thoughts on this dava collagen protein hair one week later so now coming out here for my first week thoughts on this Dalva Ultima Protein Collagen Crochet Hair. Now, as you guys know, this past week was Christmas week, or if I didn't say in the beginning, this was Christmas week. This is my Christmas hair. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was off work. I didn't see anybody but my family, which is a good thing because my family will let me know how I am looking. Now, the thing about me installing my own hairs is sometimes I don't see the back. I don't know what's going on in the back. And my mom came up to me and was like, girl, I look like you missed a whole braid i am so glad that you did not run into anybody because i did all my christmas shopping in the past so monday i was chilling tuesday i went down to spend the night with my family so we could wake up christmas morning and do our typical routine and that tuesday you know evening they were like girl i'm glad you didn't see anybody because you missed a whole braid back there so um yeah i ended up using five packs so i would say uh, in that first portion i said i didn't use all of that fifth pack i ended up using all that fifth pack to fill in that gap now of course you guys are wondering you didn't cut the hair it looks exactly the same oh of course I didn't cut the hair I, I love long hair and plus if I wanted it short why wouldn't I just buy the 14 inch if I had intentions on cutting it why wouldn't I just save the extra what was it two dollars three dollars per pack and just buy 14 inch oh no 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 I wanted the 18 inch so I'm gonna wear it the 18 inch so since this was kind of a free chill week I had time to leisure um, throughout the week I didn't have to go into work didn't have to wake up early in the morning I could really take my time at night with this hair so I did do what the instruction said and applied water this is just a bottle of water got this bottle from Amazon you can use any spray bottle um, so there's no product in here but water um, filled it up with water and I just sprayed my hair with it and did what the instruction said and went on ahead and brushed it from the ends and that's what I did every night except for Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I was just being lazy. We stayed up watching, what movie did we watch? This Christmas. Um, and then I just went to sleep. I pineapple my hair. This is not a pineappleable hair. Do not pineapple this hair and think that you're going to have great results. This is going to be a hair that you're going to need to twist up every night. So therefore, we are already past the point where this is not a low maintenance hair. You guys should already know I'm not gonna put this in my low maintenance category because low maintenance hairs typically for me are hairs that I can pineapple at night. Like I just said, this is a twist up every night night type of a situation and what I mean is I spray I typically would go in sections so I just kind of grab a section I did smaller sections so I think I would have about seven or eight braids throughout my entire head so I just kind of spray it with the water again I like to use tap water but then let it sit out for a while so I'll fill this up it's kind of low on water now I'll fill this up this morning so that tonight it'll kind of stay out and be distilled a little bit um, and then I will kind of brush through it. Then after brushing through it, I will just kind of twist the hair up. And then I will do this process for all throughout my head. So I typically, while I'm watching TV at night, will do this. It'll take about, I say, 15 minutes, honestly, to do this, kind of flat it up. I do about seven braids. They're all kind of this size. Um, might get a little bit smaller in the back, but in the morning, I just unravel it, kind of separate it brush it if I need to and most mornings quite honestly I have needed to um, and then I'm out the door but the water technique or the water option that they give you or they suggest to you has not done me wrong a lot of this hair comes out when you brush it so this is just what came out as I brushed it which leads me to the fact that this hair does shed um, you're gonna have some shedding issues with this hair um, it's a medium shedding uh, the human hair crochet that I tried what was it two hairs ago had a, I'd say a higher level of shedding than this hair does but it does have some shedding. I do look in the sink. I just looked in the sink, quite honestly. After I brushed my hair this morning and I saw some, you know, hair shedding, and when you brush it and you brush your brush through it, you're gonna have some hair coming out. So again, this is going to be a hair that does shed. One thing I will say is that I will be curling, putting 
flat iron to this here i will be doing the whole rigmarole that i did in my human hair hairstyles video i'll link that up above to this hair to see if it is just like human hair because again that hair was able to be heated and you could do all kinds of heated styles to it this hair claims to be that same way we will see that i will not be doing that today but i will be doing that during week two like i did in my last hair but that's all i have to really say about this hair one week and i'm still kind of enjoying it even though it is a level of maintenance to be put into it the fact that i've had a lot of free time has made me not so concerned about that level of maintenance you know if this was a peak you know travels heavy month for me like september is typically going to be a travel heavy month for me this isn't going to be a september hair at all but you know the end of year quiet time i'm fine with the level of maintenance that i have been putting into this hair but if this feeling holds true if i still feel the same way we will see that during the final week thoughts coming up right now later so now coming on here for my final day thoughts on this Dalva Ultima Collagen Protein Hair in the style Deep Twist Length 18 Inches Color 1B. And as you can see from the signage, it has been seven weeks with this hair. Now, as you can also see from the timestamp, this video is very long. Now, if you're not familiar with my crochet hair series, welcome, join the family, hit that subscribe button. But my videos in general are always long because they are very thorough. I bring you guys all the details with it. I get a lot of comments from people who are not familiar with my content saying, hey, you're videos are long why all this information why are you saying all this why are you saying all that i've been making content for over three years i know what questions people have questions that may be unnecessary or ridiculous to you they have been asked in my videos and that's why my videos are the length they are i bring you every single detail possible with a crochet hair again after three years of making content i know what people are going to ask that's why if you check my comment section there are not a lot of questions because every question that a person may have is answered in my video there's a lot of comments because people are saying love it and I'm hearting it I'm liking all my comments but I'm not answering a lot of questions in my comment section so again my content may not be up your alley if you're looking for a quick five minute video where they're, you're just telling them the little things the quick little details about it here I'm telling you all the nitty gritty that I have experienced in the seven weeks that I've been wearing this hair so again I just want to get that off the top before we get any kind of confusion in this video and again it has been seven weeks with this hair you guys know I'm a big advocate for not wearing your hair longer than seven weeks I think seven weeks is an appropriate amount of time to wear before you need to kind of wash and take care of your actual hair up under it so again I'm never gonna wear a hair you're never gonna see nine weeks from me on this channel I'd say this is the first time in a long time that I've worn a crochet hair on this channel and not cut it at all and it's not been cut and not really at all it may look shorter and that's because of course the hair is curled let me get up in camera one so you can kind of see how my hair looks at seven weeks it has been curled but it has not been cut at all if you guys want to know how I curled this hair I do have a wand curl video I'll link it up above I show you me putting heat to this hair I won't even go into detail about the putting heat into this hair you guys watch that video you guys know I was shocked that you could put heat to this hair not that you could but that it could maintain heat over and over again and work really well so again hair has not been cut this is it and it's full 18 inches it's just wand curled in a, in a kind of tighter curl pattern that does make it look a little bit shorter I guess in theory I will say though this hair is high maintenance this hair is so high maintenance this hair is the epitome of high maintenance but at the same time I loved it and this is the first time on my channel if you guys have watched all my videos where I have liked the high maintenance hair by nature I like low maintenance because I live a low maintenance lifestyle I want to wake up in the morning walk out the door and be you know cute be popping be on point this hair you have to do a lot of manipulation now when I wasn't wearing it wand curl what my manipulation was was that I would twist it up every night so I would just kind of break it off I kind of talk about it in my first week thoughts what I did in my first week thoughts is what I did for the majority of the first I think it was about almost three weeks that I wore it in this kind of normal format now that it is in its curled format I've been wearing it wand curled ever since I filmed my uh, curling video and that was at week three so the last four weeks almost the last month it has been curled and what I do with that is I just pineapple so bringing the hair all the way to the top putting a scrunchie around it going to sleep that way waking up in the morning taking the scrunchie off floppity flooping my hair around and then kind of going out the door after I do my edges and all of that so again it, it does tangle a lot that way again it's high maintenance so there are times that I have to kind of untangle this hair and what I do with that is I just kind of pull it apart just 
in a general sense just pulling the part i do not use any product on this hair have not used any product on this hair i did use water those first three weeks i sometimes still use water when detangling but i don't use anything other than h2o so no product has touched this hair other than h2o now i did wash this hair and i have a wash day video on that i don't know if it's coming up after or before this video so i can't say link it up above but again check out my channel i will do and you will see a wash day video from me that wash day was week five with this hair so i have washed this hair that is when some product touched that hair but i have not used product on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of manipulation with this hair so now i told you guys in my install video because my install video is live as i'm posting this um to ask me a few questions and i wanted to answer a few questions uh, from that install video that i feel like would be helpful for you guys if you have any questions so the first not questions is really a comment that says uh $58 for four packs is too high in price for only one month of wear I like to pay between $25 and $30 for four packs of synthetic hair so I think she's saying $48 $58 for four packs that's if you kind of put the price together you add it up it's about $58 for four packs of a style I do have a little bit more than four packs in so I guess it'll be even more maybe like 60 something uh, closer to $70 for what I have in right now now to a address that comment okay and I've had this hair for seven weeks so a little bit longer than a month but I'd say for the qualities that you get the price tag isn't bad now if you actually buy it from Ebony Lawn uh, it's $12.99 I believe for 14 inches it's two dollars more or two dollars and fifty cents more for the longer length uh, which is 18 inches and I believe that is fifteen dollars a pack so you buy four you buy five packs depending on how many you need um, it'll be kind of roughly like this young lady says about fifty eight dollars for this hair if this was you know the price tag for it and you couldn't do what you could do with this hair I would be on that same boat I'm typically affordability on here I bring you guys 4 dollars 5 packs of hair that's what I bring but it, it pains me to say this but this is kind of a good price for what you get I don't think it's bad for me wearing seven weeks of wear with a hair that I can curl a hair that you guys have seen in different formats on this channel it's not exactly the way it looks the first day the first week of me wearing it so again $58 I, I understand that comment if, and, it, and it has some love on it got some got some likes some people agree over 13 people at the time that I screenshot this agreed with that comment in general I would agree as well I would like that comment as well but I can't give it the like simply because this isn't your normal $12.99 pack of hair I mean it's a it's kind of more expensive but you get the ability to curl it you get the ability to put heat to it this isn't your your matey beauty fantasy pop hair where you're looking like this for for seven weeks or a month I'm looking different if you guys follow me on IG I never look the same you guys comment on some of my pictures and say what hair is that and it's like no I've, I've had this hair it's the same hair you've seen it for seven weeks it looks different somehow every time you guys see it so again I, I would 100% agree if it were not for the qualities of being able to put heat to it it's cheaper than that human hair I reviewed you guys know for the human hair I reviewed I had $300 worth of hair in my hair dare I say it this is a better investment than human hair crochet period it's better you what can I not do that I did do in that human hair crochet video I can put heat to this hair I can wash this hair I, I might not can reuse it but the reusability of that human hair is very questionable as well because you have to be very meticulous with the takeout process of that but again it's not that bad to buy another round of this if you want to again I used to spend about what over $60 a month to get my hair blown out every month this is still way better than that and I installed it myself and the next comment I saw is I see you went back to them inches this hair is very pretty but honestly it looks like all of the other hairs if it comes down to it for me I'm going with the main concept or the free trust over this hair in terms of value I'm going to make memory so I can't spend all my coins on the hair totally understand that as well but again this is different a little bit I mean with main concept waterfall curl love that hair free trust beach curl love that hair but again I can't stress that this doesn't look the same way it does the first day and it, it's because it has versatility that's the one thing a lot of crochet hair lack if you're somebody who doesn't care about versatility and wants to look the same which is me 90% of the time I love looking the same that soft dread hair by Harlem 125 I ain't care I look the same every single day but if you are somebody who is going to want to switch up you want that versatility you have it here there is a lot of versatility in this I mean the value of course is there with that main concept waterfall what is that $5.99 a pack five packs $25.99 this is maybe double that price but again 
I mean, I like the fact that you can curl it. I kind of do. I really do. So I, I like this comment. I gave it a heart. I, I agree with you. But if it's a once in a while where I get to try a crochet hair that I can do more with, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I kind of raise up for that? And the last comment I did want to address from my install video is hi Leo Blonde. Thank you for doing an install on camera. This hair is definitely nice, but once you curl it, it's hard to make it curl again. Anyways, yes, I'm curious about to know what changed your mind about trying this hair. Again, with this hair, I've curled it like eight or nine times at this point. So and I didn't get like a special battery. Again, I paid my own money with this. Again, reiterate, hate ebony line so it, it pays me to say everything i'm saying it pays me to say about ebony line but uh, yeah i've curled it several times um curled it a lot of times and it's definitely definitely held up very very well so again i don't know what, what uh, you know once you curl it once i've curled it over and over again so what happens is i typically i curled it yesterday so this is yesterday's curl i'll typically do it the weekend and it'll last me through the week so i started curling my hair week three so week four i did it before i went to atlanta and it lasted that week I did it that next weekend I did it that next weekend so I usually do it the Sunday or Saturday before I wear it out the week and then I redo it that Saturday or Sunday and if there are a couple of curls that fell in the morning you know in the morning times I'll curl it that morning before so if I get up on like Thursday and some of my curls look need a little refreshing I'll do that it feels so weird I have not used heat in my hair you guys in four years so it feels weird for me driving to work in the morning sometimes and be like dang did I turn the curling iron off did I turn the curling iron off this morning that is not a feeling I've had and quite some time so it feels really you guys and I kind of I covered it up with makeup but I have a little um nick right there because I I guess I just it's heating tools it's not something I've used in a while so it felt very not weird but it felt very I'd say yeah it felt very weird using heating tools again so again I've curled this hair hair several several times so it does have a re uh curl ability to it and if you watch my wash day video I curled it after washing it again so I curled it multiple times and it didn't kind of fall through on me but those are just a couple of comments that I wanted to kind of answer for you guys and it pains me pains me pains me to give Ebony Line all this praise because you guys know I'm one of those people who will keep my foot on the neck of any company who disrespects black women out there and the fact that they said that nappy headed hoe comment really dis I disliked it I again reference Epic Shay's video of course I I didn't catch it in real time but she is another person who will keep her foot on the necks of any company that does us wrong so I love Epic Shay if you're not following me Epic Shay, please do. I follow her uh, Facebook group Wake Slayers as well. I don't wear wigs as much, but I love her passion and drive during wigs. So again, she brought out Ebony Line and she says, again, I will not support Ebony Line. I have been on that boat too. You guys know I did not have a great experience with them customer service wise. I'm sitting here waiting on a hair that never came and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I got to review something else. They reached out to me again originally and then they fell through somehow. They have made multiple, multiple attempts to contact me and, and just try to make it right, you know pay me do sponsorships and all that but I'm one of those people where I I can't work with you again I, I said what I said and it's not that big of a deal for me to stand in what I said and stay stick by that again you could offer me they've offered me good money again to take that video down and to work with me again I have not fell through on that but again I'm somebody who could take everything I hate about that company and still look objectively at a product again when I bought this product I did not know it was coming from Ebony Line now I 100% know they are the main, the only manufacturer. There's no way you can get it without them. Ebony Line has actually reached out to me on IG. So I guess they saw me post that I installed the video. They watched the install. They might have liked it. They were like, yes, you're wearing our hair. Let me see if I can actually find the exact one. So I'm not just talking let me find the exact screenshot it oh and then they followed me on ig as well they started following me liked a bunch of my pictures reached out and said hope you're doing well we've noticed that you've been wearing our dalva hair in our recent videos our dalva hair so again this is their hair this is ebony lines hair again you people who recommended me try amazon i know you didn't know that it was still affiliated with them but they said it you are the go-to influencer on what is new and trending in the crochet braids community i'm reaching out uh, to see if we can use your videos on our social media platforms we of course are willing to play blah 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 again I responded back I, 
I think y'all not gonna like what I say in my review video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I still keep what I say. I it's still I don't deal with Lebanese line out here. So uh you, you can keep it, you can keep it. And I say in my response like I did not know this hair was associated with you guys when I bought this hair. So I, I don't think you guys are gonna like what I say. I will not ever be purchasing anything from Ebony Line ever again. I will do my research if I'm buying on Amazon, which again I make a video about why you don't buy other hairs on Amazon, like the non-pack hair, but I say in that video pack hair is all right maybe pack hair ain't even all right now now i'm like well man everything on amazon not buying hair in general from amazon may be my new going strategy because again i don't know who's selling it on the back end but if this is a technology that Ebony Line can come up with, my question is why can't other companies do it as well? I want other companies to come out with something like this because a $12.99, $14.99, or $16.99 price point would be okay with me to repurchase this. I think this is a great technology. Companies, if you're watching this, Forget Ebony Line and Dove and what they're doing over here. You guys come out with something. If you guys know another product like this with collagen protein infused that can do what this hair does, please let me know down below. I have been on the hunt ever since I tried this hair. Ever since I curled this hair, I've been like, okay, I gotta bring an alternative to my audience because right now I don't know an alternative to this hair. You guys have asked me, what's a dupe for that hair? Because I want to try something similar but not pay that price tag. I don't know if there's something similar if you want something that can curl. Now, the loose deep format, the way it originally came I think there's a lot of hairs that look like that free trust deep twist looks like the way it originally came if you want something that looks like that but if you want something that looks like that and can curl don't know quite yet what what can do this I don't know what technology this is but it is a great technology that again I would be willing to pay in the future if another company did release something in this same line one of the major cons with this hair is this hair does tangle this hair tangles a lot so you're gonna have to be aware of that and be wary that this hair is gonna tangle a lot you're gonna have to brush this hair a lot a lot a lot again my floors have been hair field hair field for the last seven weeks this hair is everywhere if that is a con to you that's going to be a major con you might not even want to try this hair because again it's high maintenance and it tangles and sheds like crazy. The tangles lead to brushing, which lead to shedding. So again, it is a round circle that keeps going back around, which equals high maintenance. That is the pillars of high maintenance, in my opinion. Now, is this hair water friendly? Gonna get that question. Um, for me, I wouldn't wear it in water and I have three main reasons why I wouldn't. One, when this hair gets wet, this hair gets heavy. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell in my wash day video, but that hair was so heavy when it was wet. I just wanted it to be dry ASAP. I wanted it to be dry as soon as possible. It gets so heavy and also the hair gets so thin when it's wet, heavy and thin, that you can see my braids underneath. I do not look cute. I do not wanna be on anybody's beaches when I got that hair wet because I'm gonna be looking like a heavy braid showing mess whenever that does happen again it thins out very very thin which isn't the same thing that happens when you get like a main concept waterfall or beach curl hair wet if you notice when you get that hair wet it, it, it maintains the same look about it um i don't know if you guys have seen my i have a couple of wash day videos on my channel i don't know which one i'll link one of them up above i probably have maxed out the number of links i can link up above but you guys just check out type in washing crochet hair leah levon one of my videos should pop up and again when you wash any other hair but this hair the hair still maintains the way it kind of looks normally the main concept waterfall curl looks exactly the same the main concept beach curl kind of looks the same way it's just wet you know the main concept I think I watched the valley wave on camera or the beach curl can't remember but it looks exactly the same this looks like a wet mop on your head does not look cute so again that's the second reason the first reason is it looks heavy the second reason is it just doesn't look cute you can see your braids all the way through it thins out a lot the curlier hairs do work way better in water and three it just takes a long time to air dry and that's the thing about those hairs those hair can air dry really fast so if you're like on a cruise ship that's always the kind of method and methodology I go back to is if you're on a cruise ship you're off the cruise ship for a while I went on to the cruise and I went and Nash so I got the hair wet again I'm not back in the room for another you know five hours I don't want to have to go run back to the room and wash the hair no no no, no. I want to be outside and I want to let the hair kind of you know do what it's gonna do and then by the time I go on the ship I can kind of rewash it and the hair air dries very quickly synthetic hair air dries very quickly this hair does not air dry very quickly I did have to kind of blow a blow dryer through this hair this package of the hair the back of it says let it air dry once it's wet if you gonna got time for it then you ain't got 
time for? It's the winter. I need to go outside. I said, no, 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 no. So I had to use a blow dryer. But most synthetic crochet hairs, I can just let air dry with no problem. They can air dry quickly. I do still blow dry my scalp because, of course, you want your scalp to dry because that shouldn't air dry as well. It takes a long time for your natural hair to air dry as well. So you want to put an air blow dryer up here. But you typically don't have to worry about the crochet hair because it'll air dry in no time. This one ain't no no time. And the, going back to the first point, it's heavy when it's wet. You want it to be dry as soon as possible. So again, there I wouldn't go nowhere near water with this hair because it's just going, I'm going to look a mess. I will not be able to take the cute pictures that I'm able to take post swimming on my other cruises. Is it active friendly? It wouldn't be my first choice because going back to that cycle of uh, maintenance that tangles. If you put the hair in kind of a tight situation, you know, putting it in a pineapple every night for me does come with tangles. Putting it up in a ponytail for you guys who work out is going to be constant tangles, which is going to go into the brushing that you need to do, which is going to be all that shedding that's going to happen, and then you're going to have to keep rotating throughout. So it wouldn't be my first choice for active friendly. Again, the hairs that are make my water friendly list are typically the same hairs that will make my active friendly list and this hair is not making either of those lists. And that leads me to my final recommendation. Would I recommend you purchase this hair now? Again, I'm going to take everything I say uh, outside of Ebony Line without looking at this hair being associated with Ebony Line because, again, I'd say no because I don't want anybody to give any money to Ebony Line. But if you're somebody who says, you know what, I'm going to still buy from Ebony Line and still support them no matter what, I'm going to give you the recommendation. This is a good hair. It's a good hair. Again, I wish other companies would come out with a hair like this, but it is a good hair. In terms of the maintenance, though, it is high maintenance. It's good hair for people who are willing to put that maintenance in. You got time. Okay, you got some time. Again, when I started wearing this hair, it was before Christmas. Now, we're in February. So, it's been a few months with this. Now, I went to Atlanta about two, three weeks ago, and um, I had this hair in. It would not be a hair that I like to travel with, because again, when I get into a hotel room, I like to kind of go to sleep, put my hair up and all that because in the morning I'm typically going to a career fair you guys know I travel for work for uh, career fairs and when I get up in the morning career fairs are very early in the morning and I'm not a morning person so therefore uh, it's not a hair that I would love to travel with but if there was no traveling if I was just sitting my tail down day to day had time to do maintenance had time to do a routine this hair would be okay for me I do like the versatility of it for once in my life I get to switch it up I get to do something different and that that's kind of fun you know of course the rest of the time the rest of this year I'll be trying hairs that don't have this versatility in it but for me having this channel for almost three years to have a hair that's kind of affordable at the same time I can manipulate on a daily if I want to I could flat iron this hair I'm not a straight hair fan lover so you guys out there who were like why don't you flat iron it why didn't you straighten it I don't like how straight hair looks on me quite honestly I think it looks dull and boring I, I like curls on me I think it gives me a va 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 boom it takes me out of being I'm very thin in real life I don't know if you guys can ever tell because you only see the top half of my body but straight hair just thins me out I look very Morticia Adams very much so slender and I like looking kind of voluptuous I think that voluptuous hair gives me a false sense of voluptuous going on everywhere else but again I like this kind of hair but again I can't repurchase it because you know morals and, and things that I have and if you're somebody who, who wants to try this here I do have a link down below to the Amazon site where I purchased it again I'm not gonna leave Ebony line link down below but again if you buy it on Amazon you're still giving money to Ebony line so I just want you to be aware I use Amazon link because again it's an affiliate link I never use affiliate links in my crochet hair reviews most of the time because I can't a lot of companies don't have a reference point for affiliate links so if you buy from Sam's Beauty um, and I'll leave a link for Sam's Beauty I don't get any kickbacks if you buy from Amazon I do have an Amazon affiliation and I just decided to do it this one time because I feel like I'm promoting them and I didn't know I, I was promoting them so I'm led into a false sense of promotion so at least if you guys do buy something it, it gives me a little bit of something on the, on the other end so I don't feel like I wasted seven weeks in a hair that I with a company that I dislike very much so again that has been my review on this hair if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it give it a big thumbs up we like all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my other content i make some good content over here make sure you're following me on instagram at leahlamon89 so you can see my shenanigans in real time and i won't get all those questions from you guys like when you gonna do a review on this hair you guys who follow me on instagram know how long i've had this hair and people on youtube they don't got a frame of reference but you guys see me daily on instagram and i love it so again follow me there and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye
Bad man, see no take you. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Bad man, see no gun now.